What is up you guys? This is Nicole Glass and in today's video I want to talk about a few different ways that you can bring in some passive income while traveling. But first I want to actually state that there is no such thing as truly passive income because in order to bring in passive income you have to put in work beforehand so that means you're putting in work to make the money so it's not really passive income. But anyway, for the sake of this video, we're just going to call it passive income. And the reason I wanna talk about this today is because I know there's a lot of aspiring travelers out there who really wish they could just pack their bags and leave for a couple of weeks, but they're not sure how they're gonna make ends meet while on the road. But if you're a photographer or in the video world, you can actually bring in a little bit of extra money while you travel, which really helps especially if you are taking unpaid leave to travel or you quit your job to travel. So let me just get into the ways that I personally bring in a little bit of passive income while on the road. Some of you may have noticed that it's been a while since I posted a video. And that's because I'm actually in Tibet right now and before that I was in various places in China and Vietnam. It's been a little bit difficult to access YouTube while in China because as you probably know, China does censor the internet and my VPN doesn't always work. So I do have a lot of comments that I will get back to once I'm back in the US. So. Traveling in Vietnam was incredibly cheap. Most of the time I stayed in hostels or cheap hotels. When I stayed in hostels, I spent around $9 a day and I probably spent an extra five to $10 a day for food and entrance fees to various attractions. So there were actually a lot of days where I spent less than $20 a day. And I definitely made more than that every day in passive income. My friend who had to take unpaid leave from her job was very, very concerned every time she spent money just because she wasn't bringing in any additional income while we were traveling for three and a half weeks. Although I am also very frugal when I travel, I definitely felt better knowing that on average I was making more every day than I was spending, except for the days where I had like an expensive flight or something. So how can you as a photographer bring in some passive income while traveling? Okay, so one of the ways that I personally bring in some passive income is through YouTube. Most of you probably already suspected that. Although I am still a very, very small YouTuber, I do bring a little bit of money each day from AdSense, which are basically the ads that you see before the videos. This is enough to cover those $9 hostels in Vietnam and maybe a little bit of extra food, but it definitely doesn't make me wealthy or anything. Of course, bigger YouTubers definitely bring in more, so I can definitely see the potential there. So if you dream of traveling for long periods of time, instead of just traveling for the pure enjoyment of it, consider starting a YouTube channel because that might help you bring in some passive income while traveling and allow you to stay on the road even longer. The second way I bring in passive income is through stock photography. In particular, Shutterstock, since that is the account where I have the most photos and the most sales. Most of you already know this if you've been watching my other videos. I actually have not been uploading any new photos or videos to Shutterstock while I've been traveling, but I've still been making a little bit of money every day from Shutterstock, which has helped support my travels. Some days I make more than others, of course, especially if I get a couple of high value video downloads. Other days I make less. Interestingly, I tend to make more Monday through Fridays than on weekends. And I'm guessing that's because companies who tend to download photos and videos from me are usually making those downloads happen Monday through Friday. But that's just a guess. While traveling, I also make sure to keep stock photography in the back of my mind. I take photos for myself, of course, including photos of myself while traveling, but I also make sure to take some photos that are ideal for stock photography and that are maybe not so interesting for me personally to keep. By doing this, I usually earn back some of what I paid for my trip, not usually right away, but over the course of time. Sometimes it might take a few months or even a year to make back a significant portion of what I spent on a trip, but just a few high value video downloads from a trip can definitely pay off in the long run. The third way that I actually bring in passive income through traveling is through affiliate marketing. I've talked about this in a previous video, so definitely check that out if this interests you. If you guys have ever looked at the links underneath my videos, you'll see that I actually list all of the camera gear that I use just in case anyone is interested. If you click on one of those links, which are all Amazon affiliate links, and you purchase anything on Amazon, even if it's something like dog food or toilet paper, I will get a small commission, which is usually pennies or maybe a few dollars. Nothing significant, but it definitely adds up and it really helps when you're traveling. So if you have a website, a blog, or some sort of other channel where you post your photography work or share information about your business, consider adding Amazon affiliate links 
for yourself. The Amazon affiliate program is free to sign up. And if it's free, why not simply just add a couple of links to your website? Just make sure to only add or promote links to items that you personally love or use because you definitely want to keep that credibility with your audience. So you should be honest and not just link to items that you think cost a lot or anything like that. Now, when you're traveling, look at travel as more than just enjoyment. Of course, you should enjoy yourself, especially if you're spending a lot of money to travel somewhere. But if you're struggling for cash, then try to find some ways to make money back while you're traveling. Photography can be a tool to do so, but try to avoid getting photos and videos that everybody else is getting and try to create more unique perspectives. Instead of photographing lots and lots of major tourist attractions, which are definitely photos that you might want for yourself, try to also photograph unique places, people on the street, things from different perspectives, and maybe the lesser visited places. Perhaps you'll find something unusual and weird in a marketplace somewhere. Or maybe you're traveling to a remote part of the world that not a lot of people have been to. Before I visited Tibet, I actually looked on Shutterstock to see how saturated photos of Tibet were. And there are a lot of photos of Lhasa, which is the capital of the region, but there are not that many photos and videos of some of the remote areas and the smaller cities that I was visiting on this trip. So I do feel like I've captured some more unique footage on this trip, which is probably also due to the fact that it is so difficult to get a permit to come to Tibet as a foreigner. And I'm actually really excited to share some of my video footage from Tibet in a future video here on YouTube. So I'm actually editing some videos from Vietnam, Tibet, and various places in China right now, which I know will be a little bit different from my usual content on YouTube, but I hope you'll stay tuned for that anyway. So subscribe to my channel for more videos. I've got lots coming soon, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.